Prior to any work on your equipment, make certain that the power has been turned off. Follow other safety precautions outlined in the operator's manual. And be sure to wear all recommended safety equipment prior to engaging in any maintenance procedure. Step 1. Cotter Pin Removal Pull the cotter pins out of the castle nuts on the back side of the machine. Step 2. Adjusting Castle Nuts Back the castle nuts off until the castle nut is flush with the tie rod. Step 3. Hook Retainer Insertion Place an empty hook retainer into the machine. Step 4. Turn on the power. Step 5. Press down the foot pedal and hold until the cylinder bottoms out. Step 6. Turn off power. This will allow the machine to hold in the full downstroke position. Step 7. Jaws Adjustment With the adjusting handle, adjust the jaws until there is approximately one-eighth inch of gap between the jaws across the entire length of the laser. Step 8. Short Chain Removal On the 25-inch and 38-inch machines, you will now remove the short chains by removing the master link. Step 9. Idler Sprocket Assembly Removal We will now remove the idler sprocket assemblies. There is one assembly on the 12-inch laser, two assemblies on the 25-inch laser, and three assemblies on the 38-inch laser. Step 10. Long Chain Removal Remove the long chains by simply disengaging them from the sprockets. Step 11. Tightening the sprocket. Tighten the sprocket with the handle attached to it first until snug. Then, using a pipe wrench or a good set of channel lock type pliers, tighten the remaining sprocket nuts until the jaw faces meet and the sprocket nuts are snug. Do not make the sprocket nuts extremely tight because doing so will make it difficult to re-engage the chains. Step 12. Long Chain Installation Install the long chain so that the top portion of the chain does not sag. You may need to adjust the sprocket nut slightly in order to make the sprocket align with the chain. Step 13. Short Chain Installation We will now install the short chain assemblies. If you are installing new chains, it may be necessary to lightly tap the tie rods in towards each other in order to create enough slack in the chains to install the master link. You may do this by tapping on the sprocket with the chain in place to protect the sprocket teeth. Remember, when doing the adjustment, never tighten the sprocket nuts all the way in case you need to rotate the sprocket slightly. Note that there are no small chain assemblies on the 12-inch laser. Step 14. Idler Sprocket Assembly Reinstallation Now we will reinstall the idler sprocket assemblies. Push down on the idler sprocket carrier with light pressure to tension the chain. Step 15. You may now turn on the power. This will allow the machine to open back up. Step 16. Working the adjusting lever back and forth, check the long chains again. Readjust the idler sprockets if chains have loosened up significantly. Now we will proceed to fine-tuning the laser jaws. Step 1. Lacing the belt. Lace a belt that is the entire width of the laser. Step 2. Marking the belt. Before removing the laser pin, mark the belt at the center of each frame arm. The center of the frame arm is the point where each of the long tie rods goes through. Now it is okay to pull the belt out. Step 3. Measuring hook legs. 
using a micrometer or caliper, measure the finished splice. Be sure to capture both the short leg knuckle and the adjacent long leg in one reading. The tolerance should be within three thousandths of an inch or 0.1 millimeter from the largest measurement to the smallest measurement. If the tolerance is not within the specified amount, adjust the stationary tie rod nuts. Each notch on the castle nut equals four one thousandths of an inch of adjustment. Remember, adjusting the nuts too far will prevent the jaws from opening wide enough to allow easy removal of the hook retainer. If possible, adjust nuts out. Lace belt again and repeat the process. By adjusting the stationary tie rod nuts, we have reduced the tolerance within the required three one thousandths of an inch. If the tolerance is still not within the specified amount, adjust the tie rod nuts and repeat the process. Now replace the cotter pins. You are now ready to maintain your electric hydraulic laser. Your Clipper electric hydraulic laser has been designed to provide years of quality lacing. However, to keep your laser in top working condition, some regular maintenance is required. The lower hydraulic system should require no regular maintenance except to check fluid levels. Laser heads will require periodic cleaning, oiling, and adjusting. There are two things to keep in mind when cleaning the laser machine. First, you should use an air hose to blow away dust and dirt that can build up during use. This should be done daily to ensure proper operation of the machine. Be sure to wear the appropriate safety glasses or goggles whenever compressed air is used to remove dust and dirt from the laser. Second, always keep the laser covered when not in use. This will limit the amount of dust and dirt that gets into the machine. Keeping your laser well oiled is essential for maintaining top performance. Be sure to oil all moving parts, including cams, chains, tie rods, plungers, toggle shafts, toggle shaft rollers, and toggle link pins.